always use caution when climbing onto and working on your roof. If you don't feel like you can do this safely, hire a professional to do the installation. First, you'll need to remove the old sewer vent. Now is a great time to get rid of all that old caulking, um, as we'll want a clean place to put down the new stuff. You might discover, as I did, that the bathroom air vent cover sticks out into the space where the cyclone is supposed to go. I resolved this issue by installing a fantastic vent cover, which is a bit smaller. Remove any screws holding the old sewer vent in place in order to remove the vent itself. There may be more than one piece to remove, but make sure to leave the pipe sticking up out of the roof. We'll need to attach the cyclone to that. Clean up the old caulk as best as you can so the new caulk will have a good clean surface to adhere to. Next, place the cyclone intake pipe over the sewer vent pipe. Using a 3 32nd inch drill bit, drill three evenly spaced holes through the cyclone and pipe as close as you can get to the roof to make sure the holes remain beneath the faceplate. Now, remove everything and put the faceplate over the pipe first before adding the cyclone intake pipe. Then hold the plate up while installing the three screws. Finally, seal things off with self-leveling lap sealant. After sealing the screw holes from the old vent, there are three places where circular seals need to be made. Between the roof and the sewer vent pipe, between the roof and the faceplate, and between the faceplate and the cyclone intake pipe. Done.